Okay, my fitness is a solution in search of a problem. I often wonder why I put myself through the hard physical training that I do. What is the problem I'm trying to solve here? At the core, I want to be the exact opposite of what I was born to be. My fitness activities is my way of running away from my autistic self. I have been thinking about this for a long time and at the end of this video i think i've identified at least one problem my fitness activities have solved before that i was hoping to find an activity that my calisthenics training might help me do well and be able to integrate socially with other with humanity the first was trail running i used to be good at running in my 30s and 40s people even wanted to run with me which was awesome I thought trail running might be something I could do. I entered the Andrews Crest 100 mile race that takes place near where I live. I managed to finish a 50 mile race on my way on my 61st birthday, allowing me to enter the AC 100. Unfortunately, I DNF'd the AC 100 mostly due to poor athletic ability. My running abilities had deteriorated a lot by then, and to be honest, I did not like the training and I had to do almost all of it alone because I was such a poor runner. Basically, it was like 10 hours every weekend out on the trails running. In 2019, it was suggested that I try obstacle course racing. My running background and calisthenics training should be helpful here, right? I entered three races in 2019 and did poorly in all three failing many obstacles i was willing to keep trying in 2020 but the pandemic canceled all races that year i found a training group at bellevue in 2021 and focused on being able to train with them which was insanely hard for me my wife passed away in 2021 and having um, my evenings free one of my training buddies talked me into joining a rock climbing gym Reportedly, I should be uh, good at this because I have pull-up strength. The reality is that I find rock climbing really hard, and after three years of climbing, I've not improved much, and I am not that good at it. Last year, I signed up to do a Spartan obstacle workshop at Big Bear. I guess this was something of a defining moment for me because I felt OCR, I left OCR with unfinished um, business. Anyway, I am now a terrible runner and that is the most important aspect of an OCR race, but I wanted to see if I at least do the obstacles that I was failing. And actually, I was amazed at how well I did in this workshop because um, I was able to complete all these obstacles I used to fail. I was surprised at how well I did on the grip strength stuff. I was the oldest guy there at 66 and got a lot of attention, which I liked. Everyone asked about my training and I told them about Bellevue where the magic happens, i.e. insanely difficult high reps calisthenics training. And, and uh, in addition, I was also doing the rock climbing. I can say that the grip uh, requirements for Spartan obstacle races are are pretty lame compared to what you deal with in the rock climbing gym, even on a V3 bouldering problem. On the downside, there were walls to climb over, and for some reason, I was freaking scared to do them. I mean, I did them, but I, I was really scared. I don't remember being this uh, fearful back in 2019. I also hurt myself on a hurdle obstacle. The other problem is that my running is so hard now, it makes me feel that I might have an underlying health problem. My knees are fine, no pain in the lower body. Running is just plain hard, like 100% effort to run at all. I am happy I did the workshop because it at least gave me closure on this whole OCR experience. Next problem is aesthetics. I get mixed inputs on this. In the real world, people say that I look good and and hope to look like me at 67. In the virtual world, however, of social media, very little uh, interest or attention, so I, I don't really know if my physique is good or not. And people are just being nice to me and not truthful. Based on what I uh, see, what is wrong with my physique, I, I naturally have an ultra skinny distance runner physique that no guy wants. 
with a lot of cow strength training, I have gained 15 to 20 pounds, which has helped. But I have noticed that for good aesthetics, at least for social media, I need to weigh 180 pounds or add another 20 pounds on top of what I'm already currently at. I have certainly considered TRT, but I've come to the conclusion that it doesn't fix the foundational problem of uh, of a narrow compact skeleton assuming it even added muscle the other problem is that i have a lot of shoulder pain and trt won't fix that either probably make it even worse i do take creatine and protein supplements and finally um, on the health front this may be the problem that my fitness activities has has solved in my childhood i would get a cold or flu um, in the winter and I was sick with it for months, it seemed. My father made me join the running team in high school and it did improve the uh, respiratory illness problem from months to weeks, but I still got sick every year. I got the swine flu in 2009 and it was like a near death experience, pretty bad. The calisthenic strength training began um, in earnest in 2010. I also had a hernia developing at that time. Strange thing happened though. No cold or flu in 2010, then 2011, then 2012, and 2013. I said to someone at work, um, I haven't gotten sick in four years. A work colleague made this snarky comment. Um, Correlation doesn't mean correlation. Also, um, the hernia went away too. In 2016, I, I got the flu um, after a trail marathon that I DNF'd. So I got COVID in 2022, was sick for three days and way milder than the 2009 uh, flu event. I would say that in the last 14 years, I have been sick probably about four times, two of these being pretty inconsequential. Huh. I did um, get my hernia back though, that needed surgery in 2020 though. So I guess while I remain a shitty athlete who moves his body pretty badly, probably a consequence of autism, at least my immune system works now. The other health uh, problem that this strength training has helped is uh, with insulin resistance. Despite being skinny and eating out of control, I don't put on weight. You may think this is, a, this is great if you are into recreational eating, but this is a sign of insulin resistance, which is a precursor to uh, diabetes and will likely shorten your life, health span by 10 years. I did fail a um, blood sugar test in college at 18 years old, weighing 140 pounds following a meal. This year I did a similar test with a monitor and after eating and after a 30 hour fast, my numbers were 195 respectively. So my blood sugar seems to be uh, well regulated. So anyway, I hope you found this message uh, interesting and informative. And thank you for listening. Bye-bye. <laughs>